everybody. Um, just back off the track from qualifying. Uh, the session actually went surprisingly well. Um, started off the day actually, practice um, went okay. Car called really loose. Um, I was really new to this particular layout. We're doing the reverse layout uh, without the chicane. Anyhow, um, ended up seventh grade fastest, I think, in practice. Um, came off from that one to make a bunch of changes. Um, but between Scott and myself, we talked ourselves out of it and just decided to leave, leave the chassis, leave the cart, set up as it is, and just go out and uh, rip around for qualifying. Um, did our seven, eight laps of qualifying. I think our quickest was on lap six. Um, ended up at a 42.8 something or other. Um, uh, qualified P2, uh, so quite happy with that. Um, but I guess it's time to try to figure out um, how to start on the front row once again. Which uh, seems to be our Achilles heel. But um, got a little break here in the action. Um, three finals coming up soon. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank Dan and his entire crew at Goodwood Cartways for um, the, the quick and efficient um, and great job they did at getting all of the, the mess cleaned up from the tornado a couple weeks earlier. Um, all the broken down tents are nicely piled up in one area. Uh, the, all the fallen trees are tucked away to the back for some nice firewood for whoever wants to use it. Uh, for some campfires in the evenings. Um, everything just looks outstanding um, and you could be happier with how it turned out. The good run and laps that I got in qualifying um, definitely uh, deserve a shout out to, to my buddy Matt here uh, in the, the cart right in front of us. Um, he, he was able to lay down some good laps um, and by following him through uh, I think we were both able to lay down some pretty decent lap times. Um, he's also been a big supporter of the vlog so uh, Matt this one goes out to you bud. Alright, here we go. Pre final time. Starting P2, outside, row one. Um, as you can see, I had another outstanding start to a heat start while starting in the front couple rows. Um, quickly lost two positions by the first turn. Um, so, if nothing else, we are consistent. Um, but that's alright. Here we are, we're just going to uh, slot into that fourth spot. Um, and play a little follow the leader for the next little while.
near to the end of the pre-final here. Um, the leader basically uh, checked out and drove away from us, only with a small gap, but nonetheless, uh, it wasn't really under any pressure um, from P2, 3, or 4 here. Um, we s almost swapped positions a few times uh, for, the, for that second, third position, but in the end, um, finished the pre-final the same order as we started it. Time for the final, starting P4. Um, let's see if we can hang on to a couple positions here. Oh, nope, not quite. Um, lost a couple, lost a spot I think there. Um, decided, you know what, I'm gonna try going around the outside. That didn't work out very well. Went through the grass. Between the grass and the curbing, it, when I tried to come back onto the track, it shot me directly across the track. Um, and I'm not sure exactly what transpired uh, behind me on the track, um, but I'm sure it wasn't awesome so I apologize to everybody else in the race for that one as to how that one kind of played out so that was not the intent and not an awesome way to start a final race um, but I think most folks uh, were able to keep going and get a half decent run out of it um, by then anyway it was just sort of a couple of brake checks and some movement around there um, and a few other folks were able to capitalize and pick up a few positions um, so that worked out I guess sort of fairly well for them. Um, I think I fell back from starting fourth to about seventh place here. Um, and at this point, it's uh, head down, time to lay down some laps and see if we can't catch up um, to the lead pack or to a pack here in front of us and uh, get a couple positions back.
about this point in the race, uh, once I had caught back up to the couple guys here in front, um, we were, I was pushing hard to try to get a couple of extra spots, but um, at the same time, um, to have uh, some movement in the running order. Um, so I, my goal here um, was to push the 419 in front um, to pick up the, the spot on the guy running in front of him. Um, but as you can see here, uh, I'm not sure if you can tell or not. Um, I was try I was backing off or letting off the throttle earlier, going into what I'll call turn one. I'm not sure if that's what it actually is there. It's after the dog leg. Anyway, um, because I w I basically had run out of brake pressure. Um, so what was happening was I was having to steer the cart to slow it down rather than using the the brake pedal. Um, so which was not ideal. Um, being that we were the cart itself was geared for some higher end or some more top end speed than acceleration, um, but I wasn't able to capitalize on that top end speed because I was having to um, let off the throttle earlier uh, for the turn up here. Um, I was having a, a great run um, on the uh, 456 up here, um, but knew that if I tried to outbreak him into the corner, um, while well being the fact that I didn't have much brake pressure. Um, I was going to take him and myself and probably a few more people out um, going through the corner by pulling through the apex. So I knew that wasn't the, uh, the thing to do on that one. So um, at this point we were just gauging, trying to figure out uh, where a, a good spot to be uh, or a good spot to, to make a pass would be. Um, tried it here going on to the, the main straight. Uh, just didn't quite have enough and lost out on a little momentum by having to go through tight. Um, and we're going to take another look um, going into one, uh, not quite this time around, um, so we'll see how that plays out. same move up the inside um, not quite enough uh, just lose too much momentum going up going tight through those corners um, so going into one try the uh, late break move um, to be the last of the late breakers as they might say um, manage to pick up the position um, and hang on to the cart and keep it on the track um, even with that lack uh, of brake pressure or uh, braking abilities um, and um, just carried on um, and finished the race in the same running order.